Not far from the village church at Runwell, on private farmland, lies the site of an ancient holy well, similar to the well dedicated to St Mary found at Glastonbury in Somerset. It's believed that the Essex village of Runwell derives its name from this sacred well. Carol Young. Runwell was named after the sacred well, a sacred spring that's in Runwell. It's, it's on the boundaries between three fields and it goes way back to pre-Christian times but was then used by Christians in the area. Water, ponds and wells are very indicative of lunar sites and that does have a relationship to the feminine principle and to the, the goddess aspect of life. But I don't believe that all feminine principles are, are indicated by lunar sites. Um, there is a solar side that can also be feminine as well, and the earth element as well. All elements can be indicative in the landscape. All the, the elements and qualities can be either solar or lunar. It's simply that we do recognize the energies through the landscape and through nature as being representative of the goddess in all her many names and, and guises. There's always been a lot of um, legends and um, paranormal sightings and this, this well would have at one time been a very sacred place where worship went on and also I feel um, a centre of the community.